This is a secant pile basement. It is modeled here to show just one application for spacecrete. A wall of pilings is created by a series of borings filled with concrete. Then a basement is excavated. But the piling walls are irregular and dirty. They need to be covered with concrete. This is how we propose to do it. You may think that this is impossible pump concrete into place and have it hold a vertical surface within seconds. But now you can do this, as you can see in our other videos. First, let's look at the state of the art for casting concrete against an existing vertical surface. Shotcrete is the go-to method for covering a vertical surface like this. This is a large basement. How long do you think it will take them? It's not like these guys are piddling around. This is actually state of the art. This is very recent equipment and these guys are doing this basically as fast as it can be done with shotcrete. These guys are using a robotic arm to get a head start in the process, basically filling the gaps between the pilings ahead of the finish crew. This is that resulting surface. So the finish crew takes this and with the reinforcing creates a flat surface. But this surface still has to be trimmed down to be flat and smooth. Doing this right takes a high level of skill. This is typical of how shotcrete is trimmed off to create a flat surface. This crew had poured 1,700 yards of concrete on a previous day and they had to slow way down for the shotcrete. Test panels are required to be built to certify anyone spraying the shotcrete and also to verify that shotcrete is being placed properly for any specific job. After the panels have cured, they are cored at rebar locations to verify that the shotcrete placement was satisfactory for a particular job or a particular person shooting the shotcrete. This is typical. This looks like a very exciting shotcrete process. Most of the people here are required for getting to a finished surface, carving off the shotcrete, troweling it to a smooth flat finish, cleaning up the rebound and the trimmings, putting them in those boxes so they can be carried away. So for a large basement like the one we showed originally, if you were to conventionally form concrete walls over the existing concrete, you have to drill thousands of these holes for all the form ties to take the concrete form pressure. This is an example of a tall wall forming system that needs to have form ties. To omit almost all of those form ties, you would use a one-sided braced forming system. These systems use a series of heavy-duty braces to take all the concrete form pressure by bracing action because there are no form ties. This type of forming system is used only when absolutely necessary because there's so much material involved to manufacture, transport, set up, use, clean, remove, and store. The video of this guy drilling one hole goes on for two minutes. So you can see why people do go to the expense of using one-sided forms. And there's always shotcrete. But as you can see, all the options for putting concrete over an existing vertical surface are difficult and expensive. <laughs> Now the system is relocating to place concrete on a second tier. Say this irregular wall thickness averages around 10 inches. The ideal lift is actually around 8 inches. If you're placing concrete at 60 yards an hour, then a 25 foot pass of the carriage takes 30 seconds. This is absolutely no problem. How is this possible? A dose of a new thickening admixture is injected into the concrete. The inline mixer is designed to optimize intermixing with a series of staggered spikes that disrupt the flow of admixture away from the periphery. A concrete vibrator is located on each side of the concrete placement nozzle to ensure consolidation on top of any surface vibration system. The control platform handles the concrete hose, the admix dose, the slipscrete height, and the carriage travel. 
After the slip screed closes out one bay, the system shifts to the next. The end bay can be custom. The slip screed just overlaps the placed concrete. It has pressure sensors to confirm concrete consolidation before advancement of the nozzle can continue. And of course, there are cameras. This way, people do not need to be in such a hazardous location high up on a wall. And of course, all the components easily fit onto a single truck. Variations on space screed include a self-articulating placement screed attached to the end of an excavator or a concrete boom truck. This can be laser, GNSS, or initially guided. A powered lifting platform can be used to also lift the screed where concrete is manually placed and vibrated. Thank you very much.